The alternative media, Jerry. That's where you hear the truth. You're listening to Media Monarchy with James Evan Pilato. Hundreds of thousands of red Skittles intended for cattle feed spill on a Wisconsin road. Well, you can still see some evidence of the candy-covered roadway out here. The highway remains littered with Skittles on Highway S, just south of Beaver Dam in rural Dodge County. The sheriff tells me he believes it was a truck that accidentally spilled some of its load, although he's not exactly sure who's responsible for it. A plow came through and cleared away a lot of the candy, so there is no road hazard, but there is a very noticeable aroma of candy in the air. A rural county in southeast Wisconsin had a sweet, sticky mystery along a highway earlier this week when hundreds of thousands of red Skittles were found spilled on a road in Dodge County. No one knew where they came from or where they were going. That was until they did find out. The sheriff's department later found out that the Skittles fell off a truck that was hauling the red candies to be used as cattle feed. Yes, they are feeding candy to cows and they've been doing it for years. A former farmer told WBAY that candy makers and bakeries often sell rejects to be used as cattle feed because they provide cheap carbs. Practice goes back decades, but it picked up steam in 2012 when corn prices were surging and cattle farmers were looking for a cheaper way to keep their cows and other livestock fed. It's a very good way for producers to reduce feedstock and to provide less expensive food for consumers, said Key Fanning, a livestock nutritionist with Great Plains Livestock Consulting, talking to CNN Money at the time. That should pretty much tell you just about all you need to know. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's it's got what cows crave. For the first time, researchers have successfully grown human cells inside early-stage pig embryos in the lab, creating pig-human hybrids, which the researchers describe as interspecies chimeras, Yes, the rise of the Hugh Pig. The Salk Institute recently created a human-pig hybrid. Why? The research project studies the possibility of human organs grown inside a pig fetus for transplantation. The study was published in the journal Cell. According to the study, human stem cells were injected into pig embryos and removed from the pig mothers for analysis. 186 human pig fetuses were collected, and it's unclear whether the experiment will prove effective. Earlier experiments created a mouse-rat chimera. Considering the experiments will prove quite controversial, they cannot be funded by public money. Hey, wait, watch it. Was that a robot reading it? It sounded so human until they said chimera. While still early days, the experiment might one day lead to lab-grown human organs that can be transplanted into the elites who need them. Oh wait, it doesn't say that. I'm just inserting a little bit of truth into this action. You're listening to Media Monarchy with James Evan Pilato. Since 2005, Media Monarchy has covered the real news about politics, health, technology and the occult. All remixed with music and media that matters. Go to MediaMonarchy.com slash support and become a monthly subscriber so you can help keep independent, non-commercial, alternative media going and growing. Thanks.